Hi guys, welcome to Concept of Mathematics and today we will learn the hidden concept of order of operation. So why do we need order of operation? A point of confusion may occur when more than one operation is in the same numerical expression. For example, does it matter which operation is performed first in an expression such as 3 plus quantity 4 times 5. If the 3 and 4 are added first, then result is 7 times 5 equals 35. But if 4 and 5 are multiplied first, then the result is 3 plus 20, that is 23. Here we get two different evaluation. One is 35 and other is 23. That's why we need a system to arrive same result. Otherwise, different person can get different result. Since the expression 3 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 which is 23 can be written as 3 plus 4 times 5 it seems reasonable to do multiplication 4 times 5 first. Similarly, since 4 times 5 times 5 times 5 can be rewritten as 4 times 5 cubed, it seems reasonable to do exponents before multiplication. Also, to prevent confusion, parentheses are used to indicate that all operations within a pair of parentheses are done first. To eliminate any ambiguity, mathematicians have agreed that the proper order of operations shall be parenthesis, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction that is in thus. Multiplication is listed before division. These operations are done left to right in order of appearance. Similarly, addition and subtraction are done left to right in order of appearance. Now we will first define order of operation which is as follows. To evaluate or find value of a numerical expression, we use a set of rules called the order of operation. We use PEMDAS or BODMAS rule to evaluate the numerical expressions which are shown here. I have chosen three numerical expressions in ascending order of difficulty levels. Now we will see what is PEMDAS. It is as follows. First perform operations in parenthesis. Of course, we use three types of parenthesis in numerical expressions which are often called a small bracket or parenthesis and second one is called curly brace and the last one is called a square bracket. So if we see different parenthesis we will perform operations of numerical expressions given in a small bracket first then curly brace then a square bracket. The second Rule is evaluate numbers with exponents. Third one is multiply or divide from left to right. And the last one is add or subtract from left to right. Our second rule is Bodmas rule. Both PEMDAS and Bodmas are same but different name only. First, perform operations in bracket. But wait here. Why do we use bracket in numerical expression? Well, the answer is if we intentionally want to make a part of numerical expression, so called prevailing operations over all operations, then we use different type of brackets. Okay? The second rule says evaluate numbers with order. Order is same as exponent. Then divide or multiply from left to right. 
then add or subtract from left to right. Now we will practice some questions based on rules we learn for order of operations. We will use PEMDAS or Bodhmas rule to evaluate the following numerical expression. We take our first numerical expression 5 less the quantity sum of 9 and 9 whole divided by 5 to the second power and positive 6. As per our rule, we first perform operation under parenthesis which is sum of 9 and 9 which turns out to be 18. Then we look for the exponent. Here the exponent part is this one. Then we will calculate it which turns out to be 25. Again we will look for division or multiplication sign. Here division is given. Then we will divide it first. It turns out to be 18 25th. Now the remaining part can be easily done from left to right and we get 10 and 7 25th. Now we will head on to our next numerical expression. Our second numerical expression is sum of 2 and 12 less the quantity sum of 5 and 12 times 2 squared and positive 1. As per our rule, we first perform operation under parenthesis that is sum of 5 and 12 which turns out to be 17. Our second step will be to evaluate exponent that is 2 squared which turns out to be 4. Then we look for division or multiplication sign. We have multiplication here. So we will multiply 17 by 4 which turns out to be 68. And the remaining part can be easily done from left to right since it is addition and subtraction only. We get negative 53. Now we will move on to our last numerical expression. The sum of squares of 9, 11 and 10 and a quantity 11 divided by 14 subsequently divided by difference of 11 and 5. As per our rule, we will do first parenthesis which turns out to be 6. Now we will do exponent first. There are three exponents which turns out to be 81, 121 and 100. Again the division sign are given here. Two division signs are there. We will do from left to right. First we will do 11 divided by 14 then 11 14 divided by 6 which turns out to be 11 84 again we add from left to right and we get our answer 302 and 11 84 if you like this please subscribe my channel concept of mathematics thank you for watching goodbye